Hi everyone, uh, this is tutorial number four and in this tutorial we're going to be experimenting or I'll be demonstrating uh, a pickup coil. So we've been resonating this coil and now we would like to pick up that energy off uh, the resonating coil and what I've got again here is the same setup as I had basically uh, on tutorial number two where we have the bulb in series on one side of the signal generator with a capacitor in series and on the side of the coil we've got the neon bulb to detect the resonating point and the other side of the coil here uh, we've got just the signal generator going straight to there. Now in tutorial uh, number three I forgot to mention I did not use the neon bulb because when uh, you're using the capacitor in parallel uh, I even when you hit resonance I have not seen the neon bulb go bright as it does when you're using the uh, capacitor in series using square wave. So it seems to be probably more intensive uh, using square wave with the capacitor in series than using sine wave and a capacitor in parallel. So that's why I've switched over to using uh, only a capacitor in series and square wave. All right, so just to uh, um, so everybody understands that. So right now we're back on square wave, and I'll turn up my output. And we're at the same uh, frequency we we're at, okay, which is we're on the one megahertz uh, setting here, so at 0.7, so that's 700 K Hertz. And we're at resonance, and the bulb is completely extinguished, so we're not using any amperage, only voltage to get the coil into resonance. Now, it's nice to have all this, but what do we do with this? Well, we want to pick it up. We want to pick up this radiating energy from there, and that's when we have a secondary coil or antenna. So what I have built is, uh, this is basically a cover to a CD uh, thing. Uh, and uh, I've got, <clears throat> this is the same kind of wire as that, but it's a, it's a finer wire. So that's, if that's an 18 gauge, this would be like uh, 22 gauge, probably, I would say. So that's, that's exactly six turns of 22 gauge. And uh, one side of it goes to a negative of the capacitor. And the other side goes through a uh, diode. And this is a, probably an ultra, definitely you will need an ultra fast diode. Because we're using very high frequencies here. And uh, there would be a benefit. This is the one I've been collecting diodes and I got a whole bunch of them. This is the one that's giving me the best result. That's the model number of it there. Uh, it's a dual diode so it you know it it goes both uh, ways here and um, uh, that's the one that I'm getting the best results as far as the amount of uh, voltage that the capacitor is getting charged at. So the, this leg is going into the diode and converting the uh, pulses to a direction of positive to charge this side of the cap. And like I say, the other one is just directly to it. And now I've got my voltage meter attached to that uh, capacitor and I'll set it on the two volt uh, DC setting here. And we take our coil, right, our pickup coil, and that happens to just fit perfectly over this. Now, it's not important that it's a tight fit around the resonating coil like this one is. It just happens that that works that way. And um, that's, so that's not important. The coil can be like probably an inch away. It doesn't need to be this configuration. So you need to play around and test with it. Um, so as let's look at this now. I take the lid off, right? It's away. The coil's in resonance because that neon bulb is lighting. All right. Now, if I move, see if I just move this a little close by, that bulb extinguishes. All right. So what's happening is that radiating energy is now being picked up by this antenna, this coil. 
So it puts the circuit out of resonance, most likely, right? But we are picking up energy and we are charging our capacitor. Now what I didn't say as well is that capacitor is on a 10 ohm load right now and that 10 ohm load with it tuned to this point here uh, is giving us 0.28 uh, volts. All right. Now if I tune my single generator one way, okay, we're getting a drop. Now if I go the other way, well, we're getting an increase. All right, so obviously you see we can retune. All right, and let's see how far we can go with this here. All right, so 0.57 is about the highest point we can go. All right, all right, so there you go. So that's about the highest point we can get the uh, by retuning and using this uh, capacitance here which was 47 picofarad, all right? So uh, what you want to do now is you want to maybe experiment going either down or up in picofarads to see if that'll help boost up the voltage and without the, the light in series coming on that would actually use amperage. So what I'll do now is I'll insert another capacitance there and see if that helps. Okay, we're back. I've inserted that other capacitance. I didn't change anything. We're down lower with that one. And that's actually 120 picofarad. And now I'll start tuning the signal generator and let's look at the meter. Okay, it's dropping by going up in frequency and going down in frequency, it's recovering. So 0.57 was the highest we can go. And now look, we're actually capable of going higher. All right. So point All right, so point eight three will look like about our highest point there. We saw that. Uh, no, I guess point eight two eight is our highest there. All right, so we're at point eight two eight and let's have a look. Okay, our bulb is still extinguished. Great. We're not pulling any amperage it's just voltage that's allowed through and our neon's not coming on but that doesn't really matter uh, we're collecting energy on a 10 ohm load we're up to 0.829 volts which is good all right so we're doing something with basically next to nothing or no measurable amps from this bulb that can tell and we're actually having work accomplished, all right? So what we can do now, we can just try to go up in uh, value of this capacitor and see if we can still push it a little higher, all right? So I'll change the, or I'll actually I'll add, okay, my little variable uh, capacitor in there and we'll try it, hang on. Okay, I've added the little variable capacitor, the air capacitor in there, and it's uh, it's on full, meaning it's adjusted to give the most amount of picofarad, and that's about actually 10 more picofarad, right? And the bulb is uh, still extinguished, but I haven't tuned yet, so we're, we were at 0.829, uh, I believe, and let's see if we can go any higher than that. Oh yeah, there we go. We're at point, see? point eight six all right so point eight six six looks to be about our highest point there so point eight six five all right and let's have a look and see are we drawing any amperage still not drawing any amperage all right so this is what you can continue doing right and there will be a point though when you keep increasing in capacitance that the bulb will start to light and that's the point where you have now you know exceeding and it's costing you money for that energy that you're creating alright so we'll stop it there and uh, I'll post this and this is uh, showing you how you can now collect that energy using this secondary antenna coil whatever you want to call it uh, and uh, getting results. Thanks for watching.